About 541 million years ago, during the Cambrian period, planet Earth was a different place. The Earth's oceans were a home to many unusual creatures. Among these creatures is an organism that terrified the Cambrian seas. This is the Anomalocaris, one of the largest creatures of the Cambrian period. According to fossil record, Anomalocaris is the world's first apex predator. Anomalocaris, which means abnormal shrimp, baffled scientists for decades, challenging the conventional theories of early Cambrian life forms. The fossil of this creature was first discovered in the Beguet Shale of British Columbia, Canada, in the early 20th century. Anomalocaris was initially misinterpreted as a separate species due to the fragmented nature of its fossils. The creature's circular mouth parts, for instance, were thought to be a jellyfish, leading to a confusion about the true nature of this ancient species. Similarly, its grasping appendages were initially misinterpreted as belonging to a different species altogether, contributing to the complex puzzle that researchers had to solve. It was not until the late 1970s, with the discovery of more complete specimens, that the true nature and colossal size of this ancient creature was unveiled. About 541 million years ago, during the Cambrian explosion, the Earth's oceans were teeming with an astonishing diversity of life forms. This era witnessed the emergence of complex organisms, marking a crucial turning point in the history of life on planet Earth. It had an elongated segmented body, measuring up to 3 feet in length. Anomalocaris boasted a distinctive pair of formidable grasping appendages, adorned with sharp spines for capturing and subduing its prey. It had about 15 pairs of overlapping flaps, which made it a proficient swimmer. Each flap, composed of a flexible yet steady material, acted as a dynamic component, generating propulsive forces as it oscillated back and forth. The overlapping arrangement of these flaps allowed for continuous undulating motion akin to the movement of a modern-day cuttlefish or squid. By flexing and extending these flaps in a coordinated manner, Anomalocaris could create a powerful thrust, propelling itself through the water with remarkable precision and control. The strategic placement of these flaps along the body of Anomalocaris facilitated seamless locomotion allowing it to swiftly change direction and pursue elusive prey items. This adaptability granted Anomalocaris a competitive advantage, enabling it to navigate complex marine environments and outmaneuver rival predators, thereby solidifying its position as the first formidable apex predator during the Cambrian period. Anomalocaris had prominent compound eyes, which possessed over 16,000 lenses. This granted it an exceptional vision in the ancient Cambrian seas and a great advantage over other living creatures at that time. What made Anomalocaris truly unique was its peculiar mouth structure, reminiscent of a circular array of serrated plates, which was adapted to shredding and consuming its victims. Even hard-shelled trilobites and other small arthropods were not safe in the presence of Anomalocaris. The predatory nature of Anomalocaris likely gave way for the development of defensive adaptations among other marine organisms, commencing the arms race of evolution during the early stages of complex life on Earth. Research suggests that Anomalocaris could also shed its exoskeleton periodically to accommodate its rapid growth. This ability to shed its cuticle represents an early adaptation akin to modern arthropods, hinting at the evolutionary link between Anomalocaris and the present-day arthropods. One of the most iconic and prevalent marine creatures of the Cambrian period was the trilobite, an ancient arthropod renowned for its distinctive segmented body and an extra-hard calcite exoskeleton. According to theories, these creatures were a little tough for Anomalocaris to feed on due to their hard shells. There is enough evidence to back this theory, including fossils of trilobites showcasing W-shaped bite marks, 
which is proven to be a deadly bite from Anomalocaris. Ranging in size from few millimeters to over two feet in length, trilobites thrived in a variety of marine environments, claiming diverse ecological roles as predators, scavengers, and filter feeders. Opabinia, another marine creature, remains one of the most intriguing discoveries from the Cambrian fossil record. One of the most notable external features of the Opabinia is the presence of five eyes, giving it a panoramic view of its surroundings. The eyes likely provided Opabinia with a significant advantage in detecting prey and avoiding predators in the dynamic marine environment. Its body, extending from the eyes, was segmented and adorned with a series of flap-like structures, believed to have assisted in locomotion and stabilizing its movement through the water. Opabinia possessed a distinctive proboscis, which grew from the front of its body and was equipped with grasping claws at the tip. This unique appendage is thought to have been instrumental in capturing and manipulating its prey. The position and function of the proboscis set Opabinia apart from other contemporary marine organisms, emphasizing its specialized feeding strategy and adaptive capabilities. One of the most peculiar inhabitants of the Cambrian seas was the Hallucigenia. Its spiky worm-like body, adorned with rows of tentacles, makes it seem like a product of an artist's vivid imagination. Evidence suggests that both Hallucigenia and Anomalocaris inhabited the same ancient seas during the Cambrian period, approximately 500 million years ago. The most striking aspect of Hallucigenia's anatomy is its dual-sided structure. This creature has been famously depicted upside down in early reconstructions, with the spines initially mistaken for legs, and the presumed legs on its back considered tentacles. However, further research and advancement in imaging techniques have revealed that the tentacles were in fact the true legs, and the spines acted as a defensive mechanism deterring potential predators. Picaya, another inhabitant of the Cambrian seas and a distant relative of modern-day vertebrates, was one of the earliest known chordates. Its slender elongated body resembled that of a primitive fish. Although small and unassuming, Picaya's presence in the ancient seas carried profound implications for the future of life on Earth. This is the Busy IQ. Subscribe for more science videos. Thank mm -hmm. you.